All right, so the next portion of this is how to warm up your upper body, mainly your back and your chest and shoulders with a super band. Some people call this a mega band. It doesn't really matter what it's called as long as you get stuff done. The first thing I like to start off with is what we call spread aparts or tear aparts. You want to hold this band fairly close to the edge just so you can actually get this done. You're going to pull it apart across your chest and you want to get to the point where your shoulder blades are coming together. If it's too hard, if it's too thick, you'll get stuck here, and that's not useful. So we want to make sure that we can actually pull it all the way across. What I like to do with this, when you get good at it, is make it into a dynamic warm-up, go into a deep squat, and then spread apart, and then pivot. That makes it a little more, getting a little more done with each motion. The next part I like to do is similar to what we were doing on the ground with the foam roller we're opening up that thoracic spine. Notice, I'm doing two things. I'm stabilizing at my right shoulder, and my left shoulder is driving back, separating, okay? So a lot of people, they like to shoot forward, they like to do this, that's not getting the same thing. We're not spreading out those shoulder blades quite as much, okay? So always make sure you're pulling across and looking across. You wanna do that on both sides, but again, we can make this more dynamic. I like to do it as a lunge, where you alternate your legs and pull across. Now, if you have trouble with balance, you could put your knee down. Of course, it's a little easier, a little harder to keep that knee up. You get a little bit of a hip flexor stretch at the same time. That's a good one as well. Another thing we can do, is what I like to call a dowel stretch. This is a little easier because this band moves, unlike a dowel. When you get stuck coming around, you can spread it out to keep those arms straight. And then you let the band pull you back here, which is similar to a stretch a lot of people do. When you get stuck here again, pull it apart and come all the way up. And you want to come all the way to the front. If that's too easy, move your hands in, make it harder. Come all the way around. See my elbows don't bend here. They want to, but they don't bend. And when you come here, you kind of let it pull your shoulder blades together. Touch your butt. And you come all the way forward. I like to get about 10 of those. If you have a really tight chest or shoulders, that's going to be hard. So just hold it wider. Use a lighter band. Some people can't even do it still. All right? They may need different work on their shoulder. Another thing that's awesome to do to warm up the shoulders is to take this band and put it around your back. See all I have right here, you put it around your back. You want it low enough on your shoulders, it's not gonna come in the, in the neck. You hold it forward, and what you can do is rapidly move it up and down. You can do this for time or for reps. You can take it and go inner circles, outer circles. You can go up and down, you can go in and out. What we're gonna feel this is our shoulders and our triceps. We wanna make sure we're not here, we're locking that out, okay? You can also just go regular presses. In the same way, we can get that shoulder girdle by doing shrugs. You want to make sure your chest is out, your shoulders back. You don't want to hunch forward. You don't want to increase that kyphosis that you get sitting at a desk. You just want to stay back, come straight up, okay? If that's too easy, just grab a little lower on the band, get a little more tension. So a bigger person is probably going to need a little more tension. We just make sure we're not rounding the shoulders, we're keeping them back and going up into elevation. And the last thing we may want to do here is getting a little scapular protraction and retraction. I like to hold this band, keep a little tension on it to isometrically work the outside of the shoulders while we're doing this exercise. Now the key here is to go into protraction and retraction without bending the elbows. When you come back, you naturally want to do this. Having this tension on here makes it harder to bend your elbows. Okay? So we want to come all the way back, but we don't want to come up punched either. See how it's, it's easy to do this? We want to make sure we're down here. Coming forward, coming down. Coming forward, and coming down. And last but not least, flossing the spine. We want to start back here, behind our neck, grab up, reach up as high as we can. Get a lot of tension on there. We want to pull down, stretching the top tricep, and then pull up, stretching that back shoulder. 
See how I'm moving this in a flossing motion, up and down, up and down. So we're getting a tricep stretch and a shoulder stretch. You do that on both sides about 10, 15 times. You do both of those exercises, you're gonna have warmed up shoulder girdle, warmed up thoracic spine. You do them daily, you'll be looser in, in weeks.